Um, hello guys, and uh, welcome to what is going to be talking about my schizophrenia too. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to make this for a while actually, but I didn't feel like I had enough material and, you know, I can't keep talking about something if I don't have anything to say about it. But I feel like I do now, and uh, I'm going to share that with you, finally. Uh, first though, do you recognize the, sh the shirt here? I don't know if it shows on the webcam, but it's actually the same one I wore. Put up the pictures as well, just for, you know, nostalgia. This shirt is actually way too small now. I, I don't feel like I fit in it anymore. I gained some weight, in a good way. Uh, well, yeah. So, what's left of my schizophrenia? Well, uh, I've been slowly working towards normality, or what you want to call it. Um, s starting to do more and more, actually cleaning up after myself sometimes. Um, wearing Crocs when I'm washing the floor. It, it, basically all this boring shit that nobody wants to do but they do it anyway and they just don't think about it. I'm starting to do more of those things. Uh, and uh, starting to learn how to enjoy it too, which is really nice. Um, physical activity has really helped me a lot. A lot. Because w once you get into a habit of, of moving around a lot, then sitting still actually starts becoming difficult and uh then you can ha then you have all that surplus energy and you can use it for uh, positive things like for example cleaning could be going out could be working even studying whatever oh maybe not studying because you don't want to sit still or you do want to you know what i mean <laughs> anyway um symptoms. What do I have left? Uh, I noticed at the festival when I got really stressed the hallucinations actually start uh, like coming back. I kept like, it, it's not as bad as it was but I, I, I was hearing like footsteps and people talking that weren't there seeing things out of the corner of my eye but uh, at the same time because I'd been been through it before I uh, I was aware that it wasn't real which actually a lot of people think you can't be aware that your hallucinations aren't real but it's it's quite possible to be yeah to to do that so uh misconception i guess um so yeah uh i had some of that but i think that was uh probably related to sleep deprivation as well um which definitely hasn't helped, plus the stress and, you know, all my trigger factors rolled up in one, pretty much. Yeah, just did that. But, um, at the same time, I, I kind of got through it, and I'm completely fine now. Uh, so, so my, like, I'm, I'm not, not just better at, at, you know, coping with it, but I'm better at recovering as well so I don't have to spend so much time uh, holed up in my room doing nothing which is really positive because the more stuff I could do that isn't just sitting here is the better I think um, so yeah that's why also why I'm starting all those projects with uh, Matt Skills TV and the ball playing even though uh, I, I feel like I'm struggling with it sometimes uh, you know keeping track of <laughs> all the stuff I'm supposed to do and uh, talking to people and promoting him and, and, and that sort of thing but at the same time it's it's almost like a job so uh, it's uh, good practice at doing something uh, and I, I keep I keep talking about this I don't know why um, anyway uh, what else do I have? Well, uh, I'm still really bad at keeping appointments. Uh, I don't know if that's even related, but I guess it's worth mentioning. I was never good at keeping appointments because my memory, it's... Actually, that's been getting better too, which is really nice, but still not, you know, as good as I'd like it to be. I like stuff that I think is, might be a month away ends up being tomorrow and like I just for example I just noticed my friend's birthday is this Saturday I thought it was next month it's 
I, I can't keep track of things and as soon as I try using a calendar I it, it just kind of fades out um, the ambivalence is actually and that's pretty funny it's actually almost gone it only happens when I'm stressed uh, and even then I'm usually able to like power through it and and do whatever I'm supposed to do anyway uh, and uh, I think that has a lot to do with me you know getting some some purpose some direction uh, I know what I want to do now or not what I want to do but I know what I decided to do which is almost as good uh, so, and and still way better than doing nothing. So I'm I'm quite pleased with that. Even so, it's it's not like you have to live your dream to feel like you have purpose. It's enough to feel like you're doing um, what you want for yourself uh, or something that you've decided that you need. And uh, I think that's been working out for me. Uh, social relations and stuff, it's been getting a lot better too. Um, you guys are pretty good at boosting my confidence, I guess. Uh, other than that, what? Well, this YouTube thing is just, it's insane. Like, I, I, I go on here every day and I uh, click around and read messages and comments. I'm sorry I don't always respond to them because when I get so many they don't always show up in my inbox and I have to check through each video to find them for some reason unless there's some setting I can change uh... three hundred thousand views like on that talking about my schizophrenia video holy shit it almost makes me want to take it down because I uh... never expected that many people to see me in a mental hospital talking about being fucking crazy so but um, I, it's there, and uh, I'm hearing that a lot of people are benefiting from it, so I'm going to leave it up as is. Um, and I, yeah. Uh, one thing that I'd like to talk about as well is uh, I've, I've been getting some requests for uh, my art that I'm, I actually stopped doing any after I left the hospital because I've been doing other stuff, but if you want it uh you can kind of you can have it i i'll you, if you sh all i'm asking is you pay for shipment really and now i i have to be careful what i say now because now i'm going to get a shit ton of requests but uh I guess it's out there now first come first serve yeah um uh i i think I think that's pretty much about it. I'm starting school after this summer. It's going to be strange going back there. <laughs> uh, I wonder what I'm going to tell people too. Like it, it's it always gets a bit awkward when you get to that point in the conversation where you have to tell people that you were in a hospital uh, and not housed for a whole year. That's that was actually more awkward than it was telling them when I was there because at that point they would just kind of like, oh, yeah, we shouldn't talk about that then. Now it's like, oh, what happened? And I'm getting all those questions that I spent so much time trying to avoid back in the day. But uh, at the same time, I do have the resources to deal with them now. So that's nice. And I'm sorry if I've been a little bit incoherent this video. <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of stuff that I wanted to say, and I didn't really know how to put all of it. Mm, so I just kind of jumbled it together, and here it is. Uh, hope you enjoy the video, and... Uh, I will be seeing you guys around for the Roskill the Festival video, which should be uploaded as soon as I can get a hold of my friend's iPhone. Bye guys, and thanks for watching.